Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out our Windows 10 and Windows 11 Patch Tuesday security updates for June 2024. And the Patch Tuesday updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device unless you decide to pause the update for a couple of days. And for Windows 10 22H2 for June, our update is KB5039. Now, first of all, uh, the Patch Tuesday security updates obviously address security issues for your Windows 10 OS. And for Windows 10 version 22H2, there are 27 vulnerabilities that have been fixed and patched. And out of those 27 vulnerabilities, one of those is a critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. So this is an important security update that is rolling out. And that critical vulnerability is listed as Microsoft Message Queuing remote code execution vulnerability. So that's when a, hat a hacker and attacker can get access to your system over at the internet or remotely over a network. So 27 vulnerabilities have been fixed. One of those is critical. Now, over and above that, um, as always, the security update includes the quality improvements that were part of the optional bug fix C release update that was released near the end of May uh, last month for Windows 10. So if you didn't install KB5037849, then those fixes and improvements will be carried over into our Patch Tuesday update for June, in case you were unaware. And I posted a whole video on KB5037849, which I'll leave in the description and also in the end screen if you'd like some more info. But just a quick recap. Um, when the update originally rolled out, it had no new features, but it did include and addressed an issue that displays a hidden window. It addresses an issue that affects the share button on USB control controllers and it fixed seven other bugs. So it was mainly just a bug fix update. And I think there were nine bug fixes in total that rolled out with that update, which will now be part of this update if you didn't install it previously. And then, as mentioned uh, yesterday, I posted a video that KB5037849 adds a new mobile uh, devices page in your settings, which is on a controlled rollout. And this is a Windows 11 uh, feature that's now making its way into Windows 10. Now, I haven't received it yet. And basically what will happen is that phone in your settings will be replaced with a new mobile devices um, toggle. And basically, the feature is available when you link your Android mobile device to your PC. And when you take a photo or screenshot on your Android device, a dialog on your PC prompts you to open snipping tools. So basically, it's a Windows 11 feature, but I'll leave that video in the end screen because it will give you a little bit more information um, if you are seeing mobile devices after installing this update. But just take note, it is on a controlled rollout, so some, including myself, are not seeing mobile devices yet on the settings page. And um, after we've installed the update, just to double-check our new build by heading to our search and typing in Winver. And this is the About Windows. And for Windows 10 version 22H2, the OS build is now sitting on 19045.4529 after this update has been applied. So guys, that's more or less um, what's new for KB5039211 that rolled out on the 11th of June for Windows 10 version 22H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.